guys, welcome to a new video. This is a long awaited video, which I have uh, put off for quite a while just because I've been busy. Uh, it's obviously a boost gauge install, it's obviously got a clear film on. This is smoked out. I'll put a link in the description to this for you guys to uh, purchase. And these are two inch gauges, also 52 millimeters. Uh, it's obviously got your wires and such on it. This is going to be a pillar pod install because I already have my pillar pod. Uh, for those of you that want to put it in the vent, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description um, of how you remove all this in the centre console. Uh, but the, every single process, like extending your wires and all the tubing and such uh, on the interior of the engine, is will be exactly the same. So, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some cable, some 12 volt cable. All this stuff we've got from Alfred's. You're also going to need a uh, mini blade add-on fuse. This is also from Alfred's. So basically you plug this into your fuse box. Uh, and then you can plug two fuses in just here, which fuse boxes in there, which we'll get to later on. You also need some terminals and connectors, so some straight connectors to extend your wire. Some uh, vacuum line, which you can just use washer tubing. So I've gone for the 4.7 millimeter, and also uh, a couple of 10 amp fuses. So this is going to be wired up to the um, fuse box, which is in here. So as you can see under there, which we'll get to soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this step by step. We're going to show you. Um, how it's done right quick shout out to Jack he's going to give me a hand with this Jack show your face oh. hey uh, follow him on Instagram if you want any help with any mechanical stuff give him a shout he'll sort you out all right so first I'm going to remove my pillar pod which you just pull your airbags on forward uh, and then you disconnect the um, brackets behind and it literally just pulls straight forward okay so with that removed we've got plenty of room down here to uh, tuck our wires through and push it through the grommet in the engine uh, so we'll put a vacuum pipe through there and we'll see where I put my electric wires just to hide them. Alright, so in the engine bay, we're going to tap into one of these lines just here. Any of these two will do. We're going to cut it in half, add the T-piece in. Uh, the vacuum line is then going to go to the boost gauge, which is going to be in the pillar pod up there somewhere. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this um, to give us some more visibility. All right, so we're going to take these two uh, nuts off here with a socket to give us some more visibility underneath to allow us to remove this. 13 mil socket. Right, so we're going to be connecting this up to the fuse box. We've already tested this to see which ones are live when the ignition's not on. So you want the third one down here, which says 7.5. This is the one that we're going to attach it to. So again, this has all been tested, so it's not going to drain your battery. It should only come on when you turn your key in the ignition. Right, so we're going to cut this black pipe now in half just here, uh, so we can put our T-piece in just here uh, so we can put the vacuum line up to the gauge So what we're going to do now is we're just going to tie up the black pipes to make sure that they don't come off. Uh, we don't want any little accidents. Right, so we've put the T-piece back in, as you can see here. We've cable tied it so it's all nice and secure. Uh, we've left this off because this is where the vacuum pipe is going to go. It's going to go to the interior to our boost gauge. And to do that, we're going to feed it around the back. So we're going to put a tie wrap here. And then we're going to feed it up through the... Uh, drainage for water that gets in here uh, and, that, and that's obviously going to go down this way it's going to go through the grommet down here uh, which we'll show you later on Alright guys, so when feeding it through, this is where it comes through, this is just underneath your glove box, so try and show you that the best I can. So uh, yeah, there it is. 
Okay, so now we've feeded this air feed through here. We're going to try and get it to the driver's side. The quickest possible way is to take this panel off. So you want a T20 screw piece here to take off and a T20 bit here. Pull this little bit forward, this bit slides out and you pull it with a bit of force and it comes straight off. So we're going to extend this uh, boost line or vacuum line with this straight extender. Again, you can get these straight from Alfred's. Alright, so uh, we've feeded it through this bit here, as you can see straight through to the side. Panels just go back on, we've also extended it with a straight connector. Okay, so we've fed it through this side, under the driver's bit. As you can see when I come back out here, straight through that, straight under here, and it comes out just here. The uh, pillar pod I've got actually covers this wall here, so we can hide it as well. So uh, we're going to leave that there and test it uh, and put some electrics on. So with the uh, piggyback fuse extender, we're going to take this wire off here, this connection, and add a new connection on it because it's too small for what we need. Okay, so it's uh, a little bit dark under here, but we've took the third fuse out now. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in, the uh, piggyback fuse extender, and we're going to wire it exactly the same place as we have with the boost uh, vacuum pipe, up underneath uh, and up through the uh, corner there where it gets to the pillar pod. Okay, so we've got all this plugged in. You need to make sure your 7.5 amp fuse is closest to your fuse box and your 10 amp closest to us. It literally just pushes straight in the bottom. We've now fed it through underneath here. Uh, and again, it comes out over to the side just where the vacuum pipe is. Okay, so now with a black wire, we're going to earth it. We've put a uh, U connector on, we've crimped it on. And we're going to earth it to the bolt just here. There is a blue little bolt on it. Uh, obviously it would be red if your car's red, white or whatever else, so uh, that's where we're going to ground it to. So we're going to connect that to that now, feed it up through here again, uh, and then we can get ready and put the pod back in. Right, so we are running out of daylight, so we're just using a torch, so that's why we've got some shadows. But um, we've literally now just fed the wires through on this side, as you can see, uh, onto the pillar pod, which comes through the centre, because I'm going to put it in the centre. I'm now just going to put it back where it should be, uh, and leave them hanging out, and then we're going to start fitting the gauge on the end. Okay, so we've got the pillar pod in, the wires are all fed through. We're going to ground the black wire on the back of the boost gauge to the black wire that we've wired up. We're also then going to attach the yellow wire to the red wire, uh, to make it so all the lights and fancy stuff comes on. Okay, so we've connected these wires now to boost gauge. We've earthed it as well. Uh, now we're just going to test it, make sure it comes on when he's got the key. <laughs> and there we go, look. Starts up. So now what we're going to do is going to plug vacuum piping up back just to here. Uh, we're going to tie it on with a cable tie just to make sure it doesn't come off as well and gives any other problems. <laughs> it's cramming in, lad. <laughs> Look at all that. A few fingers. Get your fist in that hole, mate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, so it's now pushed in. It is dark, so bear with us. Um, we're just going to turn it on now so you guys can see it all working. As you can see, lights all on. All in place now. I'm going to turn the ignition on um, and I'll show you it uh, should be in the minus, so it should be around near 10 in the negative. So now we're just going to put foot down a little bit just to show you. Obviously, not being full boost until you're driving. So we've actually got some daylight now. We did finish it a bit late because we did start it a bit late. I'm just going to quickly recap for you guys um, just in case you couldn't see anything or you missed something. So first off, we removed uh, the wipers, 13mm socket, come straight off. We pulled this um, cover off 
um, that literally pulls straight down it bends straight through if you want to see how that actually properly comes off look at my um, video on installing the Signia VXR washers so we come straight down here uh, this piece looked exactly like that so what we did is we just pulled that off we squeezed these unhooked it uh, then we put the T piece in which comes with the boost gauge kit um, we then tied it both ends with tie wraps same on the other side we then put the uh, vacuum pipe on this end pointing upwards um, we again with a uh, tie wrap stop any accidents we then followed it up here put another tie wrap here loosely might I add because you don't want to um, squeeze your vacuum line too much then if you look under here it then goes uh, up through the middle I don't know if you can just sit down there is um, that little thing here is like a little bit of a foam um, it's where the water can and drain off if it gets underneath here and then we've gone through the grommet on this side which is just through there as you can just see slightly it's gone straight through that which then comes straight through underneath your glove box and it comes down uh, in here you've got your socket your, your fuse box cover you just put uh, something underneath to wedge it under and just pull forward it's very simple and uh, what we've done is put a piggyback um, fuse connector this allows us to add another fuse uh, while keeping the existing fuse so we've gone for the third one down um, that is on only when the ignition keys in the ignition so we're not going to run our battery down very important 7.5 amp fuse closest 10 amp closest uh, to us put the 7.5 closest to the fuse box that's then been routed underneath here all the way under uh, these panels were taken out routed through the way through uh, and back through this side all underneath here all nicely tucked away and then it is literally come through um, this little socket here, I'll show you on this side, save me going, it's come up this bit on the other side uh, and then it's gone down here through the hole, appropriate hole for the uh, boost gauge uh, same with the electrics, you know, it's been earthed to uh, the bolt just underneath here which if you go back you'll see that again all wires have been routed up through that little bit just here which I've just shown you on this side uh, and then to the back of the boost gauge that is pretty much it that is extremely simple uh, it's going to allow the boost gauge to come on when you turn the key in the ignition and not be on all the time that has been tested so you want the third one down on the right hand side um, extremely simple install just very fiddly to put your wires in so uh, thank you guys for watching uh, like comment subscribe all that sort of stuff and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one